So let us now simulate correlated random walk. And in R, this is really easy to do. So what you do is you have to first install two packages, DSE and DSE1. And this library MVT norm, this is in uh, these two packages, DSC. So DSC1 is just a modification of DSC. It doesn't have much in it. Uh, but we have to use this library, which is uh, multivariate, normal. So first thing is you have to feed in your covariance matrix. So my covariance matrix, which I'm feeding in here is 9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.8 to 0.6. And the third row is... 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and 0 0.3. And this is the way we write it. First row, 9.8.7. This comes right here. Then second, 0 0.82.6. So 0 0.82.6. And the third one is 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.3. So 0 0.7, 0 0.6, and 3. Sorry. So it should be 3 here. So this is our uh, matrix which we feed in. So I'm just uh, saying number of rows is 3. So this command is just to feed in this matrix. And then you can type covariance matrix to see whether you have fed in the correct matrix or not. So number of uh, days ahead is 5. So we want to do it for 5 days ahead. And total number of simulations we will do is 100. And say we have three commodities, X, Y, and Z. So out of these three, we have made this variance covariance matrix. And we will only simulate for X, uh, and I will tell you how to simulate for Y and Z easily. But we are going to focus on X. So if you want to simulate the future, we want to give today's price. So today's price for this X is 15. So that is what it is written here. So this is distribution that is to compute probability distribution in the end. So you can add as many uh, percentages you want here so this will be clear when we start so let us uh, just run these uh, two commands in the uh, in r and uh, see what we get so we just run this command here let us run this and this is the covariance matrix i said we will feed in now we come to the simulation function so this simulation function it's just going to simulate from the covariance matrix. So this is our covariance matrix. Sigma is the covariance matrix. This matrix right here. So this is the covariance matrix which we are feeding in the simulation command. And I'm giving it as a function i because I want to simulate it again and again. So let us simulate this. And uh, so this is uh, part of it, no, but we want to see the matrix. So let us see it sim at one because I put an I here. So let's just see how it looks like. So this is how the simulation looks like. It has three variables. So you have three variables, one, two, and three, that is corresponding to X, Y, and Z. And then there are five days here. So corresponding to say this is X, you have day one this is uh, our day one then day two day three day four and day five so this is corresponding to variable one then corresponding to variable two corresponding to variable three and that is what we had day ahead is what we were focused on so day ahead is five so we are doing it five days ahead mean we have taken as zero as for any random walk and the sigma is the uh, covariance matrix the matrix we fed in and the summit gave us the simulation. Now we want to just focus on one of the variables. So what we got was a matrix which had three variables. You had X, you had Y, and you had Z, and you had simulation for five days. So we had a bunch of numbers here. Now we just want to focus on X. So we want to first simulate X. Then we can possibly simulate Y and Z. To simulate x, we put comma 1 here because this comma 1 means take the first column. So x is in the first column of this simulated matrix. Uh, x is in the first column. So 
if you want to instead simulate y you will put comma 2 for y if you want to simulate z you will put comma 3 for z right here so only change you have to do is right here we will just focus on x and then you as an exercise you can just change 1 to 2 and see for y and then for uh, z if you change 1 to 3 okay so let us do the simulation and what we are trying to do is we are just isolating this x and then we are going to transpose this matrix because what we want is something like this we will just focus on the variable x and we want to focus on five days ahead but we want to do hundred such simulations because every time you draw a random number the simulation will change so one two three four all the way to hundred such simulations you want to do and that is precisely what we are going to do here so one to sim num the sim num is hundred simulation number is 100 so you're doing 1 to 100 simulations and you're uh, getting uh, these simulations and then I will uh, see this matrix uh, C mat which is basically going to look like this five days ahead for only variable X so once we see this matrix uh, we can do a cumulative sum for one of the rows uh, but we want to do cumulative sum for all the hundred rows and for that you again go 1 to 100 and you do cumulative sum now you need the cumulative sum because cumulative sum will give you correlated random walk so this cumulative sum will give you correlated random walk and uh, what you have here or you can say uh, this simulated matrix this is just white noise which is correlated so you first find the correlated white noise and then you add the error ups to get a correlated random walk as you know the random walk is sum of errors and this white noise is just drawing the uh, random variables so in this white noise we were just uh, drawing the random variables and this will give you uh, the so this will when once I transpose it you will get the correlated random walk for variable x so we get correlated random walk for variable x so let us uh, run this in r and then we can uh, focus on rest of the parts so now we have this function as apply this so we apply to it we can transport it uh, transpose it also let us just run all of these three commands and this is what we get so you get for five days you're getting it uh, uh, it is easy to see for first four days and the fifth uh, day is coming as a separate column so you are getting uh, simulated values for variable x uh, because we focused on it for five days one two three four the fifth day is coming downwards so and then you have the simulated values for one two three four five six all the way to 100 values so you, you have been able to simulate variable x for five days so this is 100 and the fifth day column is coming down here So it will come all the way to 100 so you have been able to uh, do white noise for these processes now we have to apply cumulative sum so just let us just apply to cumulative sum for the first row so if you just took the first row of this uh, uh, 100 by 5 matrix you will get this but you have to apply this to all 100 uh, rows so let us uh, run these two commands so now you have gotten a cumulative sum so again this uh, this is a 5 by 100 matrix and uh, let us just see first four days because fifth is always coming uh, separately so first four days is very so this is the first four days a random walk correlated random walk for variable x for simulation one then this is for simulation two this is for simulation three and so on so you have been able to simulate from the covariance matrix now it will only make sense that if you add today price of x to it so for adding today's price we are keeping today's price is 15 and for that we will construct a constant matrix so let us just construct this constant matrix and this constant matrix is nothing but uh, 15 you know and you add this constant matrix to your simulated paths so this is what we do is simulated paths you add uh, 
you have your uh, random walk to that you add today's price so once you do that you get this you get 100 simulated values again uh, for x so this is so if today was 15 tomorrow it could be 8.6 5.2 this is first simulation obviously if something comes negative you make it zero because the price cannot be negative uh, so then you have uh, today's 15 tomorrow could be 16 15 14 16 18 tomorrow could be 17 14 so uh, then day after so this is all different scenarios which can start from today's price of 15 now you just apply the percentile because you want to talk about some percentiles and uh, we talked about some percentiles here we are giving 31 52 and 95 percentile and this is what we are doing so percentile we are applying to five days ahead and this is the uh, percentile comes from the quantile function simulated path is the matrix uh, so let us just apply this so these were the percentiles we said 31 percent 52 percent 95 percent so this is the way it is and then you uh, you can even uh, you know do a mean if you do the mean this is what if you do the prediction will give you so if you say you know predict my uh, correlated random walk in r this is the what r is going to give you but this is of not much use because you you can never have the prediction come out right what you can have is a probability distribution and notice that this prediction is very close to your 50 percentile uh, so the idea is this that if you have correlated random variables then you can actually find out their price in the future you know what is the probability distribution of the price in the future and then you can bet accordingly so notice that we did for one that is we did for the first commodity X so you put two here you can do for Y if you put three here you can do for Z 